know, so we can determine the leakage. Am I understanding that correct, Bob? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Sandy's made some calculations here, and I, she has a note written down. This is the first time I've seen it that we've lost revenue for water in the last 18 months, $2,321. And Galen Weiss, you kind of bring, let us know what volumes we're losing on that part of life. During this particular time, and this was in 2007, there was a leak. Um, and these over here, this particular month in December, it was 41,000. January, it was 68,000. February, 54,000. March, 54,000. April, 97,334. That's when they started reading to the gallon. Uh, May, uh, 143,224. June, 10,651. July, 2,506. In August, it was reversed. Uh, more was built out, then went through the meter. 2,603. Again, in October or September, it was reversed. 625. And in October, 1,071. And you might ask how that could happen. Not everything's red necessarily on the same day, so you're going to have some fluctuation, fluctuation, fluctuation between us. Was there repairs in that? Yes, they fixed that line during that mm -hmm. time. Yeah. They so, knew there was a leak mm -hmm. from the water that was used at the plant. Okay, and so the city, our crews are fixing the... No, uh, they, they, had to, they, they, they had to fix it. Okay. We got a question for Brian. You, you bought a lot out there. Is there any plans out there for a subdivision? I hear rumors that there's a couple, three lots out there sold. And any indication that he gave us would be no. Uh, he was very reluctant to sell what he sold to us. <laughs> um, so uh, he, he certainly didn't lead us to believe that. No. Jim, is that outside the city limits? <coughs> the edge of, no, our edge. The our edge south property there. line would be the city limit line. Assuming that that sign out there is the... Bob's at right. Okay. If it's closed. Give or take a hundred yards. Carrie? I'd like to make another comment on that private water line. I used to deal with private water lines too, but when we need the meter that went to the private water line, that's what we build. <coughs> However, the private property owners on that meter, however, they wanted to pay that. That was up to them, but there was never any loss to the city on the loss. Right, there's a similar situation north of town. North of town. The uh, individual lived north of town. He paid to have the water line put in, and he shares the meter, and they work it out between the two as, as far as each other with the meter, and they pay the city the yeah. dues. I mean, the city should not be losing, you shouldn't be losing money. You should have this built so that you don't lose money. Uh, you know, if there, if there was how many gallons in one month? Um, 143,224 in those, May. Those, uh, you know, those four property owners had to pay that. Well, that would have been fixed right then. You know, they had to pay that to go for that. Certainly would encourage some more development, and if there's housing development going on in that area, I'd encourage you to take a look at that. We have one run water to different things before, including animals, I believe, didn't we? So I think there is probably something to do. There's several different options we can look at. Yeah. I, would, yeah. I would ask the council and end up in support of the mailers to, to we expedite this. Um, I, as I understand, they're thinking maybe about building this summer. This summer? Well, Jim and I are on that committee. We need to sit down and with Barb and Adam and maybe you guys and sit down and figure out just exactly what your needs are going to be out there. Because we want to work with you to get water out there. Yeah, I think you ought to talk to that owner and get a hold of Shirley or something. If he's ever in the future thinking about it, he should be involved with it too because his hands will be tied right off the bat. Avoid Try to avoid some problems mm -hmm. later by at least being communicative and telling them. I'm sure we'll be talking on. to him again soon. I'd be happy to bring it up. Okay. We have to realize that we have to do this by DNR spec uh, specifications, so this will be a little bit. I think you'll want fire protection out there anyway. Yeah. 
I think it's important for us to make sure that we assess the whole issue because it seems like yep. different pieces have right. different people are writing different pieces here. <clears throat> I think it's a good idea for us to all get together and, and actually right. assess the entire issue. Uh, I think that's the only way we're going to come to a, a complete conclusion on what the best option is. Can I ask uh, Bob the condition of that line down there, that, that private line that's running through there now? Is there, I know it's not leaking at this point in time, but as to what you mean, the quality of it, or yeah, I mean, the, the, the makeup of the line, the quality of the pipe that's in there. Well, it's PVC pipe that was put in. Well, I think down to Karen and stuff probably was put in in the 60s. Oh, you're looking at 40 plus years. Was that uh, just added on to the water line that fed the old sewer treatment plant? Yeah, they picked it up over at the sewer treatment plant. Well, actually, I think old Walt Vanon originally put the line from the sewer plant over to where he used to live or where Ray lives now. And it was. Well, I, I guess they say it's like two-inch plastic, but plastic made in those days, it was in its pioneer time, you know. The PVC then and now is altogether different. Uh, actually, it, it's better. Um, it's of the type that is not, it isn't exactly, for the pressure that's down there, it isn't quite rated high enough pressure-wise, and it will split you know, or whatever, and, and uh, it, 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 it was as good as you could buy at the time in the 60s. Now it's so much better that, oh well, don't get me wrong, you can still get cheap, cheap PVC, uh, leave it wherever it's at, put in some good stuff if you're going to put it in, and it's, it's, adequate for what's being used right now. Uh, they had trouble down there with leaks in the past. They put a pressure regulator on when we put the meter in and the backflow preventer. And Bird says since then his pressure isn't as good, but naturally when you're going from 80, 90 pounds and you drop it down to 50 pounds, it's going to seem like a dribble compared to what you had. But they haven't had the problems. When they have a leak down there, it's hard to find because it's a sandy soil, it's a river bottom. A lot of times it won't surface. The last time that we found the leak, and this was Verge's idea and a good one, it was flooded down there. <coughs> so we shut the water off. He hooked an air compressor up in his house and we blowed air backwards through it. And we looked for about an hour and finally seen the bubbles and that's where the leak, naturally that's where the leak was. Within a few days it was fixed. And but I mean, it took time to find it when it won't surface and bubble. And the disadvantage of PVC is is the equipment to find a leak doesn't work well with PVC. But that's the way we found it, and it took time to find it. And it was his idea to, to put air on it. Which side of the road does it run on, Bob? Well, it starts on the old. When it gets over to my aunt and Karen, it's on the west side. Okay. Are those four in favor of a new line? I've talked to, to Gene Barad, and, and I guess it depends on when you talk to him, Jim. <coughs> Before, <laughs> when it was leaking, they were all in favor of it, but now that it's not, they, they've kind of, they don't talk about it quite so much. But I, in visiting with Gene Barad this weekend, he said it, it's, it's, it's an old line and it's just a, a time bomb. It's, it can go again. Okay. I would like to deviate from this just for a second because I'm going to ask him to do something. Um, I should have introduced Adam Ledford, our city administrator. Um, I would like to turn that over to him and have him schedule a meeting with the, the parties that need to be involved here, and we'll do an investigation into this. Is that okay?